So we've got our template here. have fire. What's up guys? We are remodeling a fireplace surround. A small fireplace surround. Stat courts will be on the wall. We have porcelain for the hearth. Let's quickly show you what we got here. Here is our very large two foot by four foot porcelain that we will install for the hearth. Very durable. And of course, we've got our stacked quartz, Berkshire ledge stone. This is a stacked stone, a stacked quartz. Very good looking. I'll show you that momentarily. Of course, we've got the IQ saw, which will help us with the installation. Let's go show you the existing fireplace surround. Our client just had new wood floors installed. Looks beautiful. Here we go. Another beautiful day in the neighborhood. So here is the existing fireplace. Again, small fireplace surround. These two corner pieces literally fell off with a touch. So here's the plan. Hearth will be hard, durable porcelain. Stacked quartz will be installed all the way up to this soffit here. And here is our beautiful mantle. Again, has some gray in it. It's a bit of a drift wood look as well. Mantle will be installed like so. Here we go. Okay, so I quickly skimmed the area where I removed the tile with some thin set. I feathered this area out a little bit. This helps with the bond. It also helps with a nice flat substrate to install tile on. Now it's time to install our bracket for the mantle and install the mantle. Here we go. So we usually use Luan strips, but for something as super simple and small as this fireplace hearth, we're gonna use drywall shims. Cordless hot gun, here we go. So we've got our template here. Gonna draw it out, black marker. Always make sure to cut out your line. All 
All right, guys, IQ tile saw dry cut with the large format table to the rescue to cut our two foot by four foot porcelain tiles. As you can see here, we cut the line off. Not like your traditional cuts where you wanna cut outside the line when you're installing tile for a shower. When you do a template, cut off the line. One of the most important things to get a proper fit. Templates, they work every time thanks to the IQ saw Cut these two foot by four foot tiles in less than 15 minutes. Odd angles, free handed. Let's install. Get your factory bevel. Got one thirty second of an inch for our grout line. We're using Pagrin. We're just doing a free hand miter at a forty five on the IQ saw. Quick and easy with the soft quartz. So my first night in space, I, I uh, went to sleep, which is kind of hard to do because you're in space. You don't want to go to sleep, right? Yeah. Um, and on that first night, um, I, I woke up in the middle of the night. And I could have sworn I was standing on my head doing a headstand or a handstand. I'm like, why am I up standing on my head in my sleep? This is strange, right? And then I looked out the window, I saw the earth. I'm like, oh, that's right, I'm in space. <laughs> so all the blood was just kind of pooling in your head. Yeah. As if you're like hanging by gravity boots or something. It, it feels exactly like that. Wow. sense of fear of falling. Um, mm. but of course, you, if you let go, you're not going anywhere. Right. The space station's moving. So. And ladies and gentlemen, tile installation is complete. Hearth is installed. Our stacked stone is installed. Our mantle is installed. Everything looks fantastic. Big difference. So here is the existing fireplace. Again, small fireplace around. Let's show you the next steps. Very simple. What we did with this fireplace insert is simple. We removed the screens, removed the doors. Next step is to spray paint the cavity high heat, matte black, as well as install this here. Fire glass. So this is fire glass. We chose an amber color. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But what you do is very simple. This gives it a very clean and modern look for a gas fireplace. Protect the edge with blue tape. We spray the cavity and then we pour our fire glass here, which gives it a modern fireplace look with your gas flames flowing up and through the fire glass. It looks amazing. Here we go. 
always wear a mask. This stuff is bad, bad, bad to breathe. And there's the cavity, all painted black. Looks clean, looks new, let's dump the fire glass into the cavity. Light this, show you what the flame looks like. Here we go. And we have fire. So there is your fire glass. New hearth, stacked stone, modern look, clean install, floating mantle. Reduce the heat. Increase the heat. Well, there it is guys, thank you for watching. How to give your fireplace around a makeover, a remodel, to give it a clean, modern look. Stack stone, new mantle, new hearth, and of course, your fire glass. As usual, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and share this video if you know anybody who might find it useful, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, IQ, you did a good job, but say goodbye to this view. On to the next one.